Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really want to get 2000 subscribers. You can support my channel by sending me a donation of $2. Thanks for supporting me, guys. The head of the Golden Boy Promotions promotion company Oscar de la Hoya called the reason why it is so difficult to organize a fight between his world Ryan Garcia and WEA regular lightweight champion Gervonta Davis. There is one person who is really an obstacle and he is not from my weather promotions. To be honest, I would like Davis to continue his collaboration with my weather promotions. In that case, it was easier for me to organize this fight than to negotiate with Al Heyman. Al Heyman is the man who keeps this big fight from happening. This is not a defense against Garcia, but a blow to Golden Boy and, as a result, to Ryan's career. This is a strange tactic, because the longer they wait, the more experience Garcia gains. Over time he will become stronger, will be formed as a man and it will be more difficult to cope with him in the ring. If you think it's easy to beat Garcia now, then let's sign the contract and hold this fight in November, De La Hoya said. Abraham Nova, a 28-year-old fighter from Puerto Rico, believed that promoters should understand that after such a boring first fight, Devin Haney and George Cambosos Jr. are unlikely to attract much audience attention if they meet in the rematch. According to the boxer, Devin Haney needs to move forward and put his title of absolute world champion on the line in a duel against Vasily Lomachenko. We spare it with Devin Haney. He is a world-class fighter, very fast, very eagle, we did a great job. With Cambosos he had a very smart plan for the fight, he struck to it and I congratulate him, he did his job well. Did not allow the performance to be influenced by emotions or fans of the opponent, he stuck to the plan and won. There should be no rematch, he won sell out, I don't think anyone will watch it. I think the promoters know this too, they won't earn anything in the event of a rematch. I think even though it is written in the contract, the second fight will not take place. Honestly, I would like to watch Devin Haney with Vasily Lomachenko. Stylistically, it's a great matchup. I would also like to see Haney with Gervonta Davis. But we won't see that, because they are with competing promoters, say fighter. Gervonta Tank Davis is a hot commodity in the world of professional boxing, and Oscar de la Hoya is attempting to make him an offer he can't refuse. Davis, who is coming off an impressive six-round TKO victory over Rolando Romero on May 28th to remain undefeated and retain his WBA regular lightweight title, is free to negotiate with promoters, as his contract with friend Floyd Mayweather Jr. recently came to an end. De La Hoya is not pushing to sign Davis, but rather is trying to put together a lucrative fight offer for Davis to face fellow undefeated lightweight Ryan Garcia. Tank, I know you had your last fight with Floyd Mayweather, and I respect Floyd Mayweather. I think he did a tremendous job with your career, De La Hoya said. The former 5 way champion Floyd Mayweather took a bold stand against the media on the question of whether or not Jarwan Davis would resign with the money team, notably ahead of the Black Bus showdown between Rolly Romero and Tank Davis. Things went wrong. Mayweather's protege, Davis, appeared dissatisfied with the decisions of his promoter. This led to talk that Davis would leave TMT after the completion of his contract. Now, when the WBA lightweight champion Davis has fought the last fight and his contract is over with Mayweather promotions, the question now arises, will Davis resign his contract or leave TMT? Regarding this, reporter asked Floyd Mayweather, are you going to resign Davis? Is Tank resigning with TMT? To which Money replied. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.